We will use this page out of the rule book. So roll 1d6, add 2, so you have 6. Roll, so to add 2, you have 7. Oh my god, you have 8. Oh my god, this is going to take a lot longer than usual. Take your wound. I need yeah. those sixes. <laughs> okay, oh. I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Now, this is the number of powers, but I will warn you, at the end of the process, you will be eliminating one of them. Right. Or even mm -hmm. perhaps two. So you won't get all you won't get to keep all the ones that you roll. So the way it works is that you will choose which group you will roll. Okay. And then you will roll and take what you get. And that's a so we have a set of yes. Okay. And so but you get to do that separately as you go along. So you don't choose your groups first. You just choose one of the groups, roll, get something, mm -hmm. then choose another group, and or the same uh, one. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Not really. Okay. Um, well, in that case, we won't do you first. Okay. Okay. Philip, are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So pick powers, devices, skills, magic psionics, or magic psionic items, mm -hmm. um, and pick one of those that you think would be fun for you. Devices. Okay, so roll on devices. 33. 33. According to this, devices gives you heightened charisma B. Okay. Heightened charisma B means that you will roll three die ten. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. You also drill into each one as you go. Okay. Add 12 to your charisma. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you have a device. Okay, this is charisma gadget. gadget. Yeah, exactly. So you should write that down. Device plus charisma. Okay. Now pick the same group, devices, or you can pick one of the others. And pick skills. Okay. Uh, 40. 40 tells us that. You have heightened expertise. So roll that and let's find out what that is. Same roll. Uh, no, it's not. Um, heightened expertise, roll a percentile dice. Okay. Percent again. 52. 52. Choose one weapon with which you are an expert. Oh, cool. I picked something from my head. Okay. Fill it. <laughs> yeah, I get picked something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, what so what did we just discuss? <laughs> yeah. Like a boom beat. Yeah, no, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's go to, through the rules again. No, 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 and no. <laughs> I can pick something. <laughs> yes, it's a whip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A nice whip, a good whip. I mean, how does that work? He's writing. Like Indiana Jones. Yeah, expert. Uh, okay, the expert after all. Okay, yeah. go ahead. So heightened expertise, write it under, you see these are your powers, right? So you need to write them down. And so we keep track of them. Okay, so you have a device and you have a skill. And what what now? And again, you can pick you know, a table more than once. That is okay. Okay, write down. Uh, that, by the way, put plus four next to that, okay. because you will have plus four accuracy with that. Uh, person, I'll choose a group first. Yeah, um, powers. Okay. 71. Poison and venom. Poison and venom. Okay, now that you have okay. some choices to make. Oh, um, you're the stinger. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. This is the, uh, okay, so... Parameters set by the GM. Okay, choose the right. Uh, paralysis, fatigue, damage, instant death. What do you want your poison to do? Paralysis. Paralysis, write that down. Yeah. Deadly, so not, not instant death. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, Good. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, so the, this, the game actually gives you lots of qualitative yeah. choices inside a lot of these two. So, 
Okay, now, so what else? Do you want to keep going with devices? Yeah, or? yeah I think I have a device. Yeah. Okay. 22. Yeah. Um, okay. Ah, dimensional travel. <laughs> All right, so you have some uh, choices about that. Uh, you may choose which you want. One is that you can go back and forth easily between one particular dimension and this world. So that's one choice. Another one, so no, and there's no chance of error or anything. You just have a door to that other place whenever yeah. you want. The other one, or the next one, is that the ability to travel to any time or place on Earth Although it also points out that this is an alternate thing, so you can travel to the future, but it's not guaranteed in the future. Mm -hmm. So, um, the A future, yes, A you can, you can, but also locations. Yeah. Now, to do that, um, you it, there's a role to fail, so it may or may not work. Um, and yeah, <laughs> especially including the really bad results, which go really badly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that one. Yeah. And then uh, the third one is the ability to travel to and fro from any to and from any dimension, not imitating a point or place in Earth's timeline. Um, and so you basically now have the well of worlds to to travel among. It just can't be anywhere on Earth. And uh, or and also. Um, there is another, that one also requires a role. I think I did the first one. Okay, the first one, yeah. Mm -hmm. So then now you have to make up some other dimension specifically that you can travel back and forth between. What is that, like 20 pages? Of, of, of such, so not that many. It's not that many. More like 10. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe that's now we're gonna you, think, you think a little bit, but you'll have to make it up soon. Okay, so then, uh, pick another. So your device maybe is it might be the same device or two different devices. So at this point, so <clears throat> I've done four, mm -hmm. two more. Mm -hmm. um, okay, on the scale, mm -hmm. thirty-eight. Thirty-eight heightened endurance. A two D ten. Two D ten. Eight and seven. 15, plus 15 to your endurance. Um, and then... I'm taking on the skill. Okay. 85. 85 gives you a speed bonus. So okay. let's quickly check what that means. There it is. Raw. Roll D10. Eight. Eight. Okay. And so that's 80. And you can add that to one of your uh, uh, movement rates. So ground flying or swimming or pick some form of going places and you're faster. You can't fly, so you can't uh, take a flight. Ground. Ground. Okay. So somehow you can go really fast. Okay. Oh. So plus what did you roll? Uh, eight. 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 So plus eighty. So say plus eighty to your speed. So basically you have some kind of super running. Okay, so now you will roll for your weakness. Yes. 43. 43. You have a physical handicap, which here is. Can't even read that disease. That, that handicap is. <laughs> Hold on. Physical limitation, like the loss of the use of legs or epilepsy, the loss of a hand or an eye. Work with a character to get an interesting one, set its specific effects in game terms. Lost an arm. Okay, good enough. And so, but now there's another step. Now, what you will do, you have a choice. Oh, I need that page. 
you have a choice here, which is that you will select one of the powers to discard. Okay. Um, also, if you don't like the weakness, you can discard the weakness, but you have to drop a second power. Okay. Ready? Who wants to go next? Okay. And so you are this dimensional traveler with a device that gives you the. Uh, well, which one do you want to get rid of? That's yeah. important. Yeah. Okay, let's start with the power. 35. Mm -hmm. Hybrid defense. Okay, so let me write it down. Or let me, sorry, find the description so we get it exactly right. Um, right. Yeah, heightened defense, and it says minus four, which is what everyone gets against you. Mm hmm. So, and the roll to hit is on D20, so that's actually minus 20% to hit you, so that's not bad. Mm. So, again, a lot like Hazel. I tried another power. Oops. Another power. I'm hitting a woman. Uh huh. That's six, three. which is. Um, let's see. Heightened endurance. Okay, um, does it say A or B? Uh, good question. B. 3D10. What happens if you get the same result? Do you just add them? Um, Fifteen. Okay, add 15 to your endurance. Uh, to answer that question. Um. The player has the option of either discarding the result and rolling again, or taking an increased ability in the same power, mm -hmm. which varies a little bit. It depends on the details. Right. Yes. But for something quantitative like that, you would just mm -hmm. get it over. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try magic psionics. What's Four? that with zombies? <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be high. Wait, wait, wait. Magic psionics. No. Um, no. Magical spells. Oh my god. All right, magical spells is a complex power. <laughs> oh okay. god. First of all, it means that you get one magical spell for free where you just pick a power. You can pick a power. Power. And that's your spell. Power. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pick a power and that you have a spell that does that power. Okay, I'll be back in a half an hour. That's right. And then <laughs> right. you also get to use your invention points to well, create new no. spells. Okay. Everybody gets invention points, oh. and the person with magical spells, instead of doing inventions, they can make new spells. Mm -hmm. So you build up yeah. your library. Okay. Um... Actually, the way it puts it is even better than that. The character starts with one beginning spell of his own design. The GM should work with the character to create a useful and reasonable power. So you could just make up a spell and then we decide how the power works with the others as a guide or a people. Or a... Mm -hmm. You had to go and roll the one that gave you this. What happened to disintegration? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go, back to disintegration. Yeah, my, my first reaction was, okay, you can drop one. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll drop that. So they do have an interesting roll. I was sort of sorry to see you all roll high. Because the rule is, at the end, people with a, like very few powers, one, two, or three, by definition, the powers have much broader scope. Whereas if you have many powers, so for example, if you have chemical powers, mm -hmm. if you if that was your only power or one of very few, you would have a huge range yeah. of chemical power. That's really nice. Yeah, but if you have a you know ten power, right. yeah, you know, seven powers mm -hmm. and one of them is chemical power, you could do one thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have questions. 
What do I have to imagine if it says force field? Um, uh, you create tangible barriers of energy, transparent shields. That sounds um, fun. Yeah, okay. Um, but you can choose there either for screen of whatever shape you desire, um, or you can, oh wait, no, you don't have to choose. You can set up fort screens like I just described. You mm -hmm. can also use them as attacks. So that power is an attack. Power. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or bonking people. Mm -hmm. So that's your first spell. Mm -hmm. Okay. What will you roll on next? Um, some magical actor. Uh, I think that's oh, oh, wait. wait. Sorry. My fault. 52, that's lightning control. Uh -huh. Make okay. sure to write it as an item so they know. Oh, if you're playing a ma mage, surely you must be a lightning rod. That's what I mean. Um, your fails. Lightning Ronda. Hmm. Hmm. I'll try another one of them. Mm, 73. That would be sonic abilities, right? Sonic sound, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So is that another item? Mm -hmm. You can imitate sounds and you can do a sonic attack that can shatter things. Okay. I'm going to try it still. 23. Um, more heightened defense. Aha, uh -huh. so you can have my, that will give minus okay. eight. Can you I just can... add it to the yeah. other one? Uh -huh. And one more, what else? The power. 57. Lightning control. Well, I, I, mean, have I already that. had that. I know, but listen, you have a choice. You can either roll again, or we can give you really, really, really amazing. It's an E8. Sorry? It's an E8. No, that's 10. No. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, so? no, wait, you're right. Oh. oh. Can I have a roll with a bit of E8 all the time? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty good with that. Wait. Yeah. Don't worry. I thought I was all of you. Yeah, what was the intelligence rating? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said what it should be, not me. That I'm is reconsidering. Zero, eight. zero six. Yeah. Six. Six. Animal plant powers. Natural detail. Okay. Well, you are rolling all the weird ones. Now I need you to choose one of the following. The character selects one of the 12 types of animals plants given on the following table. And it will affect and some of them affect your characteristics. So for example, if you chose a rack mid, your strength drops by four, your endurance goes up by two, your agility goes up by two. Hmm. 
amphibia. You want to be an amphibian, so that will give you plus two strength, plus two endurance. Uh -huh. Minus four agility. Um, and then... Wait, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, and you want the plus, plus two on the one, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now roll d6. Okay, actually, only yeah. one. Roll, uh, let's see, d6 and d8. Uh, uh, you want that back. Four. So you have heightened agility, 2d10. Um, Eight to your agility. Mm -hmm. Okay, now roll for your weakness. Um, carefully. Yeah. Yeah. Seventy eight. Um, reduced strength. Okay. So reduced strength will drop your strength. Two D six. Minus four strength. Now the trouble with all these calculations is that remember you should Kind of now that I think about it, you shouldn't have changed your attributes as you went. You should have just written down the modifications mm -hmm. because now you're going to choose to drop one of your powers. So if you get rid of that uh, amphibian power, then you would, then your scores have to go back. Oh shit! No, that's all right. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So which one will you drop of your powers? Which one will you get rid of? So with a poor roll, you could have got something like the zero strength and. Right. Or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Helen, don't worry about it. Go back and and, uh, um, and decide what power you don't want. Or what doesn't. Think about it in terms of what doesn't fit. Mm -hmm. Look at the profile and, and decide what doesn't fit. So in your case... I removed my thing several. Ah, you moved it up? I see. Right. So you're sticking with, you've got your... Uh, right. Charisma your, boost, right. endurance boost, um, the, the, the width. Wave. Paralysis, paralysis power and I'm missing my arm. Right, right. Okay. Huh. Well, that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. The reason I, uh, the reason I should read re 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 this question, me and I read this question, yeah, the sure. late, late in the news, in the news, on my mind, I just immediately thought, wait. Good <laughs> enough. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Okay, you are. Okay, I know, I know what I want to drop. What is uh, it? Part of the Hexen's defense. Okay. I had it twice, so right. okay. then uh -huh. I just go back to minus four, right? Right. Uh -huh. So you are an amphibian person. Uh -huh. With what else? Amphibian person, you're hard to hit. Uh, I have an unbelievably high <laughs> endurance. Right. Uh, I have this force field spell. Lightning control and sonic abilities. That's a lot of, especially with magic spells eventually, but that's a lot of flexible energetic stuff. So kind of a bad weather. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Kind of a, you don't really have weather control, but you can. No. Yeah. But uh, in the end, you're. And you're, I, it, it, it doesn't bother me. <laughs> right. And you're, exactly. And you're amphibious. So. Were some of those devices or items? Some of them were, were items. Yeah. Yes. So I rolled two towers. Mm -hmm. And I've got an eight. That's uh, animal or plant control. Oh, so goodness. Okay, then. We'll take so one. which one do you want? Here. Okay. And that is okay. Oh, founder's powers. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so according to this, anyway, um, 
your uh, you have plus four to strength, plus four to endurance, minus eight to agility. Please come again. Plus four strength, mm -hmm. plus four endurance, mm -hmm. minus eight agility. Oh, now roll d6. Six. Oh my god. All right, roll d8 plus d6. I, I'm going to say so, so oh. d8. Wait, 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 wait. What Two. do you mean? If, if I add roll a d10. Yes, but if I, if I roll a 9 or 10, I'm just going to re-roll it. No, that's a d8. It has an 8. 8 sides. Yeah, that. okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you. So 9. Okay, uh, so that's... Oh my god. Hold on. You have some special power relevant to your species type. Pick something that you do like as a body power that relates to being, you make this up relative to being a fungus. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I, I, I'm from, obviously from um, other dimension from outer space. So, uh, spores? Yeah, okay, right. You have some sort of spore power. Yeah. And um, what does it do? Make everybody sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> you have energy. <laughs> right, yes. So you don't Sorry. Work, you don't work springtime. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, and you had some uh, paralysis already. So. Yeah. Would it confuse people? Yeah, of course not. And I don't write down that nine, so that was just the power. Uh, yes, that's that's the way the table we roll up. Yeah. You get to do this six times, so keep going. Okay, uh, so power, yeah. Uh, no, 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 this is going to be the, the d6 plus d8. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I, I, do, I do the six times? Yeah, yeah. Okay. you roll six. Okay. I'm only roll one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so four, heightened agility, A, roll 2d10. Plus 10 to your agility. Oh, now, now I'm back. To All right. Uh -huh. Now, um, yes. Seven. Poison or venom, right. <laughs> which only makes sense, yes. Mm -hmm. Nine. Nine again. Yeah, another special one. Maybe something else the spores do? Uh, they make a cloud or something? Oh, oh do, do, does it does have to be the spores. No, it just makes more sense. And okay, so many you might as well yeah. consolidate. But, but, uh, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm thinking about like uh, sponge powers or something about like yeah, someone eats and it's like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. Could yeah, be yeah. Like, basically say, you know, like damage absorption yes. or something like that. So, six. Diminish senses. Oh. So pick a sense that is. Diminished or that is reduced in its effectiveness. Okay, like hearing. Sure, why not? Mm -hmm. You don't hear very well. Yeah. How many is that now for your fungus powers? Oh. Seven. Wait, oh, no, oh. no, that's five. Oh. Okay, you have one more. <laughs> it's a big one. Yeah, eleven. Eleven. Armor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, roll percentile dice. Add 30. Uh, so we're at 98 plus 30, that's 1 to 8. Mm -hmm. um, and right, so uh, you roll it when you get hit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, or sorry, you roll the percentage dice when you get hit. Mm -hmm. And if it is under the amount, sorry, if it's over the amount, then uh, you won't get hurt. But every time it happens, it drops by the difference. Okay. You see. So, or... And then maybe that was... Right, by the number of points it absorbed, right? Yes. Well, actually, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but basically... Um, right. Right, so the amount of points the damage would have done to you, mm -hmm. that reduces the percent. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, and the name of the power was? Uh, armor. Armor. 
Okay, and that was one of my uh, eight powers. That's right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to nap. We'll go. Yeah. Uh, I wrote powers again. And that's a seven. And it's uh, way animal plot comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Double of seven. Hmm. Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Either you can roll again. Yeah, I can roll again. Okay, yes. 34. Okay, I, I was waiting for it to, to come up again. Um, uh, height and defense. That's minus four. Uh -huh. Yeah, just write it down there, yeah. Okay, so uh, you will be, uh, at this point, coming up with uh, a few numbers, but I have to go through that with all of you after we're done. Oh, okay. I, I just powers. keep with what the is powers. powers? Okay. Yeah, right. Uh, so that's the height and strength B. Three, ten. 11, yes. Oh, no, sorry, no, two. two. Yeah. Five. So yes. plus five strength. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, once again, yeah. Yeah, yeah, apparently. Yeah. So that's it. Yes. Uh, light control. Okay. Uh -huh. I guess that's some hallucinatory effect of your oh yeah mm -hmm. or something yeah well, actually it's real light but whatever mm -hmm. um yeah you can use that as a defense as well as an offense mm -hmm. okay and, and uh, the last four are all the skills okay so fifty uh, heightened intelligence a plus two d ten. Seven, seven plus seven. Mm -hmm. That's ten. Mm -hmm. I can tack. What okay. does it say? Uh, it, it doesn't say anything about uh, neither A or B. But what does it say? Heightened attack. Here, let me look it up. Um, yes, that's plus one to damage mm -hmm. um, on any successful attack. Twenty-nine. Height and defense. So that's um, another, you can turn that to a minus eight instead of a minus four. Yeah. Okay. If you keep it. Yeah. yeah. Forty-one. <laughs> so height and expertise. Right. So that's you pick an attack and you'll get a plus four on that attack. Okay. Uh, can I pick later? One of your attacks. Yeah, depending. Yeah. 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 Depending on what. Yeah. And uh, so, so uh, was that the but last one? Or... Right. It's on, right? Yes. Count your powers. Or right. your, your roles, that is. I'm not sure if that's seven or eight, but uh, I, I'm, I'm good. Okay. okay. <laughs> now roll for your weakness. So I drop one. Roll for your weakness. Something went. Reduced strength. Yay. Oh, I give that my strength and I will use it. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Is that is that two d ten? Um, well, let's double check. I think it's minus two d six, right? Oh, that's what I think. Yes. Yeah. So. Yes, minus two d six. Oh, oh, plus nine minus. Nine. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. All right. Now I drop one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I drop the height and the expertise. Okay. Because I'm a lazy bastard. Okay. Um, I, I, I just so we you. have the fungus person, with, yeah. and otherwise it's mostly attribute shifting, right? Mm -hmm. Mostly. Yeah. So um, 
but you're you have both the armor and the absorption of some kind. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, and then and he has those weird powers. Yeah, and you have all these weird powers, mm -hmm. and then you have this amphibious person mm -hmm. with all sorts of flexible lightning and things mm -hmm. and sonics, and then you have this person with their whip, who with paralysis attack and by the way, so the plus four, that has to be with specifically with the whip. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. With that weapon. Okay. Um, and the paralysis was power, not a device, unfortunately. Um, and when you're basic, yeah, although, nice. although, you see, they allow a certain amount of wiggling. We can kind of connect that to the whip, if you want. I would say yeah, yeah, yeah. you can pair it in whip. Right. Yeah. Well, the idea though is that the whip is what you're good at, and you can channel the paralysis yeah. through it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Okay. So, um, now <laughs> I'm just kind of getting used to you guys. Um, <laughs> now here are some numbers, and it's a now. Now you need to write your attributes down. And with, with the process. which part of that? Yeah, it was it's right there. Oh, oh, that's the attributes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My two lowest um between around my two highest. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 and there is seven, eight, and now it's twenty-two and twenty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do this next part. Um so you will note that uh, uh weight is on there. Mm -hmm. Put your weight there, and I'm sorry to say it is in pounds. <laughs> uh, that, that's my actual weight. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't divide, know that before I don't know. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I, divide know kilograms, I, I, I divide kilograms by 2.2. Yeah. Huh? Uh, I mean, I, it's a rough estimate. Uh, yeah, probably a little bit more. <laughs> These days. Divide by 2.2. All right. Um, round it out to 45. <laughs> So if this had been like a dark edge game, I would be uh, I would have been mushroom cloud. And draw yeah. yeah. Oh no, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but right. I'm not. I'm, yes. I'm Doctor Fathers. Okay, good enough. Yes, I like it. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. We uh, skip the decimal, right? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, your we are now going to adjust your agility. Um, is anybody over two hundred and forty pounds? I don't think so. No. So is anybody under uh, one is under anybody... to go from kilograms to pounds divide by two point divide by two point two? Yeah. So the number should get smaller. Yes. Okay. All right. So are you between sixty one and one twenty? No. No. Really? Are you under? That's why I'm so. Confused. So are you over 121? No. How? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm wrong. Sorry. Yeah. Multiply it's by two. Yeah, yeah, right. Yes, yes. That's Sorry. why I was That's so confused. Sorry. No, no. I was. I'm used to going the other way. Yeah, right. Oh, oh, yes. I see why. And then no, my duty is I I rocked up to 100 kilos. So. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. Okay. So you have no agility adjustment, no agility adjustment, and I'm double checking for how much. 165. Oh, okay, so you are also, there is no agility adjustment for anyone else. Okay. okay. So then, uh, strength rating. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to do this for you guys. It's really hard. So let's do uh, Dr. Fungus. What are we going to call your super self, Helma? It has to be corny or or fun or charismatic in some way. 
Mm. I knew there was some kind the of... The peace frog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Oh, yes. no. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you? Stinger. Stinger, yes, just as, as suggested. I could say Weaver if you want to. You know to. what? <laughs> you better call it the hippie frog. Hippie frog. Okay, good. <laughs> Excellent. Um, and so, oh, this is hilarious. I love them. Okay, so, so uh, give me your strength. Yawn. Yeah, 13. 13. And so that, uh, that photocopy didn't work out very well. Printing didn't work out. That's too bad. Okay. Um, 13, 12, 14, 1 point 2. All right. Um, and then your endurance? Uh, 16. 16. Okay. Um, and then your um, intelligence? 21. 21. Four. And then finally, your agility? Nine. Nine is one. Okay. Um, here is then the basic hits. Uh, your two, here's a five. Okay, basic hits. Here's five. Ah, okay. Let's do the same for everybody. So then your basic hits also were five. Kill it. Um, your uh, body weight was. Mine? Uh huh. In pounds. One hundred and sixty-five. One hundred and sixty-five. So that's going to be four. Basic hits. You don't have to. No, don't write them down yet. Well, yeah, go ahead and write ba basic hits. Five. Does it say basic hits? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Basic hits. Write, write five, five, and four. Mm -hmm. um, and then for you, Helma, what is the strength? Eight. Eight. So that's one, two, zero. Eight. And then your uh, endurance. Twenty-three. Um, intelligence? 60. Two, and your agility? 60. Six. Okay, we'll do some multiplication in a moment. Um, and so then for you, strength? 13. Which gives us 1.2 again. Endurance? And one to two. Intelligence? 18. Agility, uh, yeah, agility. Okay, and then that's just a negative. Okay, so I'll calculate your hit points in just a minute um, because that's annoying. We'll continue a little bit further. Our healing rate, oh God. Um, that will be times the basic hits. All right, so. Um, Endurance again, sorry, Yawn is what? Uh, 16. 16. Yeah, that will be okay. So then that becomes a point four. Okay, so your uh, healing rate is two. Mm -hmm. um, and so then, uh, Helma, and your endurance is 23. So that's going to be point six times your basic hits, which is four. Yours will be 2.4. Healing rate? 2.4. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's. And then for you, endurance? 22. 0.2, same thing, right? Okay, so. For you, that turns into 3. That's your healing rate. Yeah. Um, and so then, uh, intelligence, you want? 21. 21 plus 2 damage modifier. Uh -huh. um, and there's something else to agility. Nine. Nine. Okay, so no modifier there. So you have plus two for your damage. Uh -huh. And then how much? Uh, intelligence? Yeah. Sixteen. Uh, that's plus one for your damage modifier. How about your agility? Sixteen. Plus one. You have plus two for your damage modifier total. Intelligence? 
15. 15, and so that's the plus one, and then agility. And okay, so you just have plus one for damage. Although I think you do have a damage modifier plus more for your whip, right? And or for something. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, it, well, we'll see. But yeah, for, I think that's accuracy. Yeah, it's accuracy. Okay, so then uh, let's see here. What's next? Um, intelligence again. So for Philip and for Helma, twelve percent for hidden objects. Um, detected. Uh huh. Well, 16% for detect danger. You see various powers mm -hmm. like super senses and stuff will make those go up. Okay, so then uh, accuracy. Um, intelligence for, okay. So you have plus two at base, base plus two accuracy for anything. And then with your whip, it's plus six. So write plus two and then put it like a, something to indicate a plus six. How about for you as um, plus two? Do you have anything else that increases your accuracy? No powers or anything? No. Okay, so it's just plus two. Okay. Intelligence okay. for you is 21. Right. So that's going to be plus four. Okay. Accuracy. Okay. Um, and then uh what is next you want still needs the detected and detected oh right yes yeah, so uh -huh. sorry that's uh 16 and 20. yeah and then and i think that solves those and then accuracy ah and charisma what's your charisma we, we don't uh, want to talk about it okay it's about 13. okay so um that's plus one minus one mm -hmm. you'll get plus one from good people mm -hmm. and minus one from evil people mm -hmm. 16. Okay, and that's going to be plus 2 minus 2. And charisma. Oh, yeah, it went up to 20, did it? Yes. Oh, goodness. Plus 3 minus 3. And plus 2. Oh. Okay, and then um, basic hand to hand damage um, is. Oh, God, we got to do this first. Oh, what a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> Um, and I still have to give you, you still don't know your hit points yet. Um, this is so crazy. Um, a couple of things. Sorry, I have to answer a message now. Sorry this is taking so long, actually. I I mean, it's a lot of fun to make up these characters, but uh, I was expecting to play a little bit more than we were going to have time for. But we will see. Okay, so let me do this hard thing. Um, Philip, tell me your strength. And 13. Um, so. Okay, and then, um, what is your endurance? Okay. And then uh, your body weight in pounds is 220, right? Yes. Okay, so that's 110. 244 for your carrying capacity. Okay, strength for you on? 13. Okay. Um, same thing. So. Uh, plus 220, plus uh, endurance, uh, 16, okay, and then times 178, mm -hmm. strength, how much? Eight. Okay, so, um, Um, and then, um, endurance? 23. Um, and body weight was 165, right? Yes. Um, wait, I just, ah. Let's just scoop this up. Bam, we can start over. Mm -hmm. um, eight. eight. Oh, God, so I'm getting tired. Bam. 
When, what's your endurance? 23. Right. Then times what? 18. 231 is your carrying capacity. Okay, so. Did you say 231? I did. Your damage, your hand to hand damage, HDH damage, basic HDH damage. Right. Okay. Yeah. Is D4 for how long? Um, what was your carrying capacity? Yeah, mine was 244. Same 1D6. 178. 178. D4. Okay. Um, movement rate. Add your strength, endurance, and agility scores. Mm -hmm. And put that number where you have where it says movement rate. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then to that number, add your intelligence. Put that under your power. Mm -hmm. That's your power. Mm -hmm. Where did you put it? Power. Oh. oh. Intelligence score, how much? 16. 16, okay, so that's 1.6. You have um, 1.6 inventing points. When you get another level, you have you can spend them in ones, or ones okay. and twos and things, but you will save the leftover, okay. and you'll get every level you gain, you'll get your points again. Okay. So say you use one inventing point during play, you'll have 0.6 left. Mm -hmm. And then when then you get to level time. two, you'll end up with 1.2, uh, mm -hmm. right? So, um, and so what's your intelligence? 1.5 inventing points, 2.1 inventing points. But for Helma, she can make powers. Yeah, mm -hmm. you guys get lesser inventions um, because she makes spells. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, Anything else? So that's what they are for. Uh-huh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, there's probably a few other things in there that, okay, so write it down. Stinger, your own name, you have no experience yet, and you have, your side is good, or your level is one. And I think you will be really interested in this as well. So sooner or later we should put the powers. Yes, sooner here. or later. Yeah, exactly. You'll mm -hmm. list them there. Um, and then let's see here. All players are assumed to be constantly training in their spare time be consciously attempting to improve some aspect of themselves. At the start of the game, um, each player should note under training on his character record sheet which of the following you are doing. Here is the list. You may be attempting to increase a characteristic. So you will pick a characteristic and say, I want to increase that one. And you write it down as training. Now, these are options. Mm -hmm. um, the another option is to gain weight. Um, Not after I fought so much to right? <laughs> uh -huh. No way. <laughs> um, another is to lose weight. These have various effects on your attributes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, another one is to increase combat accuracy with a given attack. 
Another one is to increase damage for a given attack. Another one is to get educated in some occupational area. The third is to train an animal. An animal or creature being trained may be given one type of training. Um, and then uh, anything else that strikes you as some way you want to improve mm -hmm. your character. Uh, what what are the characteristics? The strength and endurance, agility, intelligence, mm -hmm. and charisma. Now you will get that when you make the next level. Mm -hmm. So basically mm -hmm. you're setting up for what improvement you have waiting for. And then you can pick yeah. for the next one. Hmm. There's a since you're playing yourself, I suspect that the author is like trying to encourage his friends to get in better shape. <laughs> so it reminds me of that uh, traveler. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in increasing combat accuracy, um, are lightning control and sonic abilities my combats? Yes, and all well also your force field attack. Um, um, I think my sponge like body is not well, that's not work as damage absorption, but uh, that, that I can uh, squeeze into like you know. Oh yeah, 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 do that. Yeah, right. yeah, squeeze it. Yeah, squeeze it into things. <laughs> or into molds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Work, work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those abilities don't have any numbers to them, so what increasing them means, I guess. Say that again? Those abilities don't have any numbers attached to them, so I'm not sure I understand what it's increasing them would mean. Which abilities? Oh, uh, they do. You. you will, your basic oh. accuracy, your basic accuracy mm -hmm. applies to all your attacks, for example. And as far as damage is concerned, we haven't talked about them yet. I can I can tell you about those. Okay, then I understand. Yeah, I'm picturing my Dr. Fangus moving around in, a, in in the city with uh, with, with trench coat and uh, oh, I see. <laughs> and like a scar. I am right. now this normal. I guess me. I I it's like you are a fungus. You are a. Are you a frog no, or a newt no. or what? Uh, and I'm a human. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm I'm very curious. What sort of uh, from what sort of amphibian are we talking about? Um, are you a yellow, yellow and black uh, South American frog, or are you a? Uh, I think that sounds nice. Ooh, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah, giving off the the dangerous signals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So and then also with a hike with a charisma that gets her a bonus. So that mm -hmm. means that she's obviously. Whereas a villain with a high charisma mm -hmm. is obviously very, very, very bad. Yes. So think of sort of Disney logic, right? Oh, okay. Okay. Listen to the music march. That guy's evil. That's exactly right. Yeah. You can hear the theme song. Um, what's going on? Okay, there are still a couple of things that don't have numbers. What are they? Or may not need numbers. Uh, Oh. Agility modifier, hit modifier, and hit point. None of you have agility modifiers, just okay. Uh -huh. And what was the other one? Hit modifier and hit points. Hit modifier. Oh, right, I'm about to do that. Okay. okay, so here is how that works for Dr. Fungus. I have all my numbers ready for this. Okay, so 1.2 times 1.8 times 1.4. That's good because I get I don't see it. Equals okay, she's very very hard. So you have fifteen hit points. Mm -hmm. Helma, yeah. Um, you are going to have. Hold on just a moment. Mm -hmm. Point eight times 
Two times one point six equals that times four equals. You have sixteen hit points. Philip, you have. Uh, let's see here. One Is that going to go into the parentheses? Oh, I'm sorry. Two point six times one point two times one is that for your hit point. Modifier right there, right three points. Oh no, just never mind that. Okay. okay. You have nineteen hit points. That doesn't look like a nineteen. Yeah, that I looks like a one over there. Yeah, I you know. I'm okay, I find mine. Okay. So, um, Helma, don't worry about the things in the parentheses. I have them all right here. I don't feel like writing. I don't feel like it. Okay. So. That will be your hit points. Yeah. Um, and we will get a few. There's more relevant numbers for your powers and things, but we will get there when that happens, like the damage they do and stuff like that. But first, you have to hit something. So I would like to know uh, where do the three of you meet to plan your next good deeds? Somewhere have a base or something? Yeah. Right here in Spillage. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> no? It works for me. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, you know, if anyone forgets the key, that's okay. It'll squeeze under the door. And yeah. Yes, <laughs> we, we can manage. We are getting here with or without a key. Mm -hmm. So I, I have this skill plus one damage to all successful attacks. Does that mean that I add that to my uh, to my plus two damage modifier? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 